home planny friend it's Min I hope you're having a wonderful day today we're going to talk about Hoya Compacta Carnosa otherwise known as the Hindu rope plant they also sometimes I've seen it labeled as the Indian rope plant and they are super cute and exotic looking plants they have these thick waxy leaves that grow on these very long stems that can grow up to a couple of meters and I find that with these plants they're probably called rope plants because the leaves are a little bit curly and they fold back a little bit so it looks like a, a rope. When it comes to and also I wanted to mention that they do come in a few varieties. I only have the green version but they do come in a variegated variety as well which have these yellowy whitish uh, sort of streaks through the leaves as well. When it comes to lighting I think lighting is important. I have my plant which is about three years old right next to an east facing window. I did move it to a north facing window and I, it, it did not like it at all. So I had to move it back to an east facing window and I think when it did go to the north facing window it ended up with some pests so I had to treat it before I moved it back. I don't like to put my Hoyas near a south facing window and that's the reason because with uh, Hoyas there it likes bright indirect sunlight but not direct sunlight and not harsh afternoon light either. And I think if I ever moved it to a south facing window, it would just burn the leaves. So if I had a home that only had south facing window, I would recommend just move it back like two or three meters away. So it just, it receives some bright indirect sunlight. When it comes to watering, I think watering is also important. I'm an overwaterer, so it, I, this plant has actually taught me how to not overwater my plants. Because with Hoyas, they don't like to be sitting in soggy soil for too long. So I will water um, my plant once the soil is completely dry. And if I'm not sure, I will give it another couple of days because this plant has very thick and succulent leaves. So it can withstand a few days of being underwatered. And all I do is when I'm watering, I use my watering can and I go around the plant, completely water every single part of the soil and make sure the water is draining down the drainage hole and get rid of any excess soil. Sorry, I meant excess water. When it comes to the soil, I also use a very well draining soil. So I tend to use a mixture of 70% potting mix and 30% perlite. I sometimes also add a little bit of cacti soil to make it extra well draining as well especially it's really helpful in winter because that's when uh, well for myself any that's when I'm more likely to overwater this plant when it comes to fertilizing these days I fertilize all my plants if there is any growth and with a Hoya compacta carnosa the growth it looks pretty weird it's like a stem without leaves and this plant is very slow growing I find so there is patient in waiting for the plant to reduce the leaves on the stem and I find the new growth is quite delicate uh, so try and avoid touching it because I've touched it a few times and I've broken so many new growth on my Hoya on over the past few years and they also I find that with fertilizer it's helpful to actually help the plant to get enough nutrients to actually produce flowers and the flowers are pretty cute my one has pink flowers I tend to use a product called we the wild I'm not sponsored by we the wild I find that it's just a fantastic product and it, it's an organic product used uh, with worm casting I think it's made from and all I do for myself with my plants is that I will dilute the solution to half the strength of what is recommended. That way I'm ensure that the roots are not burned from the actual uh, fertilizer. When it comes to temperature, well, I think Hoyas are very tolerant of a whole range of temperature. They can range between 50 Fahrenheit to about 80 Fahrenheit, and that's between 10 uh, degrees Celsius to all the way to about 26 degrees Celsius. I think if the temperature is too low, what can happen is that the plant may not uh, grow. And when it's too high, when it's above 26 degrees or 80 uh, Fahrenheit, then it's too hot and the leaves may dry up more quickly or become yellow. When it comes to pests, 
They can be prone to the main six pests, indoor pests, which is mealybugs, aphids, threats, spider mites, fungus gnats, uh, and scales. I haven't had an issue with fungus gnats, and I think that's the main, the main part is because I let the soil completely dry before I water it. So that's um, breaks the breeding cycle of the fungus gnats. I have had aphids and spider mites, and how I treat those is that I use uh, neem oil. So I use a solution consisting of one liter of water, 10 mils of neem oil, and 10 mils of dishwashing solution. I shake it all up and I spray it all over the plant. I also get my cotton bud and I will dip it into that um, the neem oil solution and go through all the crevices and the cracks and all the hiding places basically where the pests can actually hide in. And I find that just be constant and just look out for in pests and just treat it immediately. It really helps to keep the plant healthy. That's all my care tips on Hoya Compacta Carnosa. If you have any care tips of your own, I'd love to read about in the comment section down below. If you found this, this video helpful, please hit the likes button, subscribe to the channel, help your planty girl out so we can create a plant community together. And if you have any questions about the care of Hoya Compacta Carnosa, otherwise known as the Hindu plant, I would love it if you pop a comment section down below. You can also follow me on Instagram with Plant Nation Min, and I'm also on TikTok as well, which is also the same name, Plant Nation Min. I'll check you all out, or I'll see you next time in the next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care. See you next time. Bye.